Today, we have to start with the next session, sixth session, whereas in the previous session, we explained regarding the associative law, their proof, that is by using truth table, symbols, as well as by using perfect induction method that we explained in the previous class. Today, I am going to explain the next concept called as distributive law. How to prove distributive law? In distributive law, there are two types. One is x into y plus z equals, see here we are dot operator, x into y one time will take and then plus operator, then x into z. This is the first distributive law that is x into y plus z equals x into y. This operator will come in between and whatever two variables here we have, that operator will come here. That is x into y plus x into z. This is the first distributive law. The second distributive law states that x plus y into z equals first x plus y here it will take in between whatever operator we have that here we have to write then x plus z. This is the second distributive law. Now first I will prove the first one. First distributive law. Before proving first we have to write the circuit diagram through table and then we have to solve that. First one we have x, y, as well as z, three variables here we have. That's why x, y, and then z. But here x plus z we have. X, y plus z here we have. Here y plus z means reverse C shape plus operator we have. That's why y plus z we have selected. Then in between here we have dot operator. Dot operator means compulsory here to use D shape. This is equals to x, y and then z, x and y here we will take, this we will return in D shape. Then next x and z, here we will take x value and then one more is z value, x and z here we are taking, one is x and one more is z, here once again D shape because in the previous class I told you how to write the circuit diagram. When it is passing above that, you have to just put one curve. Then this two are connected with plus operator. Plus operator means once again you have to take reverse C shape. This is the circuit symbol to represent the first distributive law. This is the symbol. Now we are going to write the truth table. Totally in this we have three variables x, y and then z. While finding this, first I will find out x, y plus z, then we will calculate this one, x into y plus z part. Next here, x into y we will calculate, next x into z we will calculate, then at the end x into y plus x into z. This thing we will calculate one by one. Totally three variables we have, that's why four zeros, one, two, three, four, and then four ones, one, two, three, four. Alternative two zeros, two, one, two zeros, two, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Now, y plus z, these two columns you have to take. Here, plus operator means if any one of the input is true, output become true. Zero plus zero, here zero. Zero plus one, 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 zero, one, one, one. Now, y into y plus z, we have to consider the x column as well as y plus z column. These two columns we have to consider. Here, zero, here dot operator we have. In dot operator, if all the inputs are 1, then only the output become 1. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 1, 1. Now, x into y, we will take x column as well as y column. Into means all the inputs are 1, then only output become 1. Here, in these two columns, we will take, we will consider 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0. 1 into 0 means once again 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 1, 1, once again. Now, we will take x and z column. These two columns will take, these two columns. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 0 into 0, 0. 
0 into 1, 0. 0 into z 1, 0. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 0, here 0. 1 into 1, 1. Now we will take these two columns, x, y plus x, z, these two columns. But in between plus operator means if any one of the input is true, output becomes 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Here only one input is 1, 1, 1, 1. From this, I can say that x into y plus z value equals to x into y plus x into z column. Now we will solve this by using perfect induction method. The equation is x into y plus z equals x into y plus x into z. This is the equation. Now we will put x equals 1 one time. Then another time we will put x equals 0 and then we will solve. Now on the place of x substitute 1. 1 into y plus z equals 1 into y plus 1 into z. 1 into any number. See the law of addition. 1 into any number is nothing but the whatever number we have. That is 1 into x is nothing but x here. Then the output become y plus z. Here 1 into any number is nothing but y only plus z. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now, once again we put on the place of x 0. 0 into y plus z equals 0 into y plus 0 into z. 0 into any number is nothing but 0 only. 0 into any value 0. 0 into any value 0 plus 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. This is your first law of distribution. That is x into y plus z equals x into y plus x into z. Next, we will explain the next one. Next distributive law. On that distributive law states that x plus y into z equals x plus y into x plus z. That we will explain now. While explaining, once again, we have to write the symbol, truth table and then you have to solve that by using perfect induction method. Then only you will get full 5 marks on your annual exam. In the exam, they will ask, explain, prove, distribute your law. For 5 marks, they may go to ask because in the first class itself, I told you, the total weightage of this chapter is 9 marks. On that, 5 marks, one question you will get. On that, they may want to ask, explain distributive law. On that, you have to explain with symbol, truth table, as well as you have to solve that by using perfect induction method. Now, the second distributive law states that x plus y into z equals x plus y into x plus z. Now, x, y, and then z. Here, y into z we have. Into means D shape, you have to write. Here, plus operator, that's why C shape. These two are connected with C shape. This part equals x, y, x, z. x plus y. Here, reverse C shape. Plus operator, we have reverse C shape. Then, once again, x part, then z part, plus operator, reverse C shape. These two are connected with dot operator. Dot operator means D shape. Right hand side value equals to left hand side value. This is the symbol. See, x plus y into z we are took. These two are connected with plus operator. That's why reverse C shape. Then here y and then z. x and y here we are took. These are connected with C shape because plus operator we have. Then x and z. Once again reverse C shape. These two are connected with dot operator D shape. This is the symbol. Now, how to write the truth table for this one? Same pattern in the previous case, how we are talking the same pattern. X, Y and then Z. First, we will find out this part. Y and Z we will find out. Then X plus Y into Z. Next, we will find out X plus Y. And one more is X plus Z. Finally, we'll find out x plus y into x plus z. 
फोर जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर जीरो फोर वन वन टू थ्री एंड देन वन मोर वन टोटली फोर जीरो फोर वन नाउ टू जीरो टू वन टू जीरो टू वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन नाउ वाई इन टू जेड y into z means where to take y column and z column dot operator means all the inputs are one then only the output become one now zero into zero 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 into one zero zero one into zero zero one into one one zero 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 one now x plus y into z that means you have to take x column as well as y into z plus operator we have plus operator means If any one of the input is true, output become true here. See here, zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Here, zero plus one. Output one time one we have. That's why one. Next, one into zero. Here, one time we have. That's why one, 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 one. This is the output. Now, x plus y. X plus y. Zero plus zero, 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 one. One, 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 one. Next, x plus z. X plus z. Column. We take these two columns plus operator. Zero, one. Here, zero plus zero, zero. One, 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 one. Yes. Next, x plus y into x plus z. These two columns you have to take. Dot operator zero. Here zero, zero, one, 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 one. It is same as your x plus y z. X plus y into x plus z column. First three remaining will be one. First three remaining will be one. Now, the, for the same equation, we'll solve that by using perfect induction method. X plus y into z equals x plus y into x plus z. Now put x equals one one time, and then put x equals zero another time for the given expression. Now, on the place of x, we have substituted one one plus y into z equals one plus y. One plus z, one plus z. Now, one plus any variable, one plus any variable is nothing but there one only. Here, one plus y, one into one. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now, in the place of x, substitute zero. Then zero plus y into z equals zero plus y. Zero plus z. Now zero plus any variable is nothing but there is zero plus x is nothing but x only. Therefore, this equals y into z equals here zero plus any variable y and z. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. This is your distributive law. Next class, I am to explain regarding the absorption law. Thank you for all of you.